Today is March 26th, 2021. It has been a little over four years in the making, and today we're getting married. <laughs> I'm so excited for today. <laughs> From just like day one in our relationship, it just was so easy. And it really never was a, an if, it was a win, which sounds so cheesy, but it was a win. And, So the first time Ken and I met, it was through a blind date. A friend of ours uh, set us up. They had gone to high school together, and um, I didn't really know a whole lot about her. Uh, we met to get coffee before um, the date that we were gonna be going on, and um, we just kind of clicked from the very beginning. He comes up, and he's you know about to introduce himself to us. And me, just thinking I was like gonna break the awkward tension, I just immediately stick out my hand. I'm like, hi, you must be Kenna. And I'm like, I just said Kenna. I just said Kenna. And I put my hand back and I was like, I mean, Austin, you must be Austin. It didn't take long for us to just kind of fall into a world where it was just the two of us conversing and getting to know each other. I, I joke with friends, like I, I did get that. Um, love at first sight moment with him. He, he just took my breath away and he still does. You feel good? Are you nervous? Uh, a little nervous. Are you nervous? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I vow to stand by you in the good times and the bad. I vow to support you in all that you do. To be there to celebrate your many victories, but also pick you up when you fall. I vow to cherish every moment that we spend together like it's gonna be our last, to always make you feel as valued, beautiful, and as special as you are to me. Most importantly, I vow to love you as Christ loves the church, to love you without expectation, to live every day giving myself to you because my love for you is unconditional. From now until the day I die, I vow to love you as passionately as I do at this moment. As your wife, I promise to use my words to encourage you and to comfort you in times of need. I promise to stand by your side on your darkest days and remind you of mine and God's love for you. And lastly, I vow to love you as you love me, wholly, unconditionally, and infinitely. Austin, I love you more today than I did yesterday, but not more than I will tomorrow. And as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Austin, you may kiss your wife. Let's hear it for him, everybody. Amen. Amen. I now present to you all and to the world, Mr. and Mrs. Austin and Kenna Taylor. There comes a time in every man's life when he meets the person he loves. The person it was love at first sight with, the one who makes him a better person, and the one who completes him. And for Austin, that moment was 18 years ago when he met me. And there's also a person he loves almost as much as me, and that person is Kenna. Needless to say, I think Ken and Austin are two of the most caring people I've ever met, and I'm so happy they found each other. Austin, thank you for loving my sister so unconditionally and for being such a kind and amazing person. I feel so lucky to be caning another brother today.